Now we always try and bring you the very latest on two wheels, but there is another side to biking, and that's the classic scene. And we're here at the Stafford Classic Show, when I find my way through all these people. And in there, there's lots of bikes and there's a lot of interesting innovations that we're going to have a look at. Now here's an unusual bike. So where my hands were, this is about that tall from top to bottom. There's no petrol tank, this is just a cover. It was the Norton Lowboy of the mid-50s, 350cc. But they used to have big dustbin fairings, as they used to call them on the front. But when those were banned by the FAM, they had to do something else to keep a low profile on the bike. Take the tank off, put the petrol tank down there. Oil tank that used to be there has been moved down here. And altogether, drop the height. And also, you've seen at the top here, there's no top yoke to the forks. It looks really odd here. You've got the headstock and then they beefed it up down below. But it meant you could really get low on this. You could really be a low boy. Now here's an interesting little motor. This is a Rudge 1931, but it's a little V-twin, it's 250. But one of the most interesting things, you can actually see the valve gear on this, but that's not the interesting part, it's the fact that it's got four valve cylinder heads. So you've all heard of four valves, these are them, and they're radial as well. See the angle they're going at? That one that way, the other one that way. Operated from push rods on the other side, but it gives you a nice, easy to fill combustion chamber and also easy to empty with two exhaust valves. But very nice. And this one was actually supercharged originally, but uh, very neat. 250 V twin, smart. Now, Velocet, they were another firm who were innovators. They were one of the first with telescopic front forks. This is one from 1955, but they'd used these from early on. The engine was also pretty unusual. A high camshaft design, it used to be called. Very short push rods, stopped them flexing, gave you relatively high engine revs. And in there, the gears are absolutely wonderful. They're helical gears, which means they're cut on the cross, which makes very quiet running. Nice bit of engineering in there. Coming back here, the rear suspension, instead of jacking up the spring with a C-spanner here, what you could do, slacken off that bolt, put it forward for being soft, pull it back and that stiffened up the preload. A very neat way of adjusting the rear suspension. Some quite nice, nice touches and a very distinctive silencer, the old fishtail silencer. And over there, there's even a nicer one, the Velocet Thruxton. Now the Thruxton down there, that was developed in the mid 60s. It won the 500 mile race, the endurance race at the Thruxton circuit. Very nice looking bike, did the business.